Beloved, I want to greet you in the name of our Lord and Master Jesus. We thank God so much for how far he has brought us. I am really excited to have you in your home, in your office, wherever you find yourself. Today marks a day that we're going to share some messages of hope titled The Rescue. I'm really excited to have you and I believe uh, by God's grace you are going to be blessed. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for a moment like this. As we are about to open your messages of hope, as you are about to open your word, descend your spirit and speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends of God, we are living in the last days and we are going through so many things. Friends, uh, sometimes we laugh when we meet friends. Sometimes when we are at the church premises, at workplaces, even in car, sometimes we try to position ourselves in a way that people will see that all is well with us. But the point is that in one way or the other, we are going through so many things. When you look at the life of the Israelites, they were also going through so many things. And at a point in time, God intervened and rescued them. Friends, I just want to say that there cometh a time or if there is anyone who can rescue us from whatsoever thing we are going through, it can never be any other person but our Lord and Master Jesus. Hallelujah. That is why when we read Daniel chapter 6, verse 26, it says that he delivers and rescues and he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. Who has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? I am talking about the God who can deliver. God has done it before and can do. Therefore, at any point in time, before there can be a rescue, there should be an oppression or people might be going through a serious dilemma. Life is full of challenges. People are going through a lot. Friends, as you listen to me, you might even be going through so many things. But the point is that our God is able and he can rescue you. Dear, dear friend, at a point in time, when Pharaoh was alive, in the life of Joseph, everything was okay. The children of Israel were enjoying life to the fullest. But when Joseph died and another Pharaoh came, something happened. Throughout the whole series, we're going to touch on the rescue. But today, by the grace of God, we want to talk about heard their cry. God heard their cry. First of God, we might be weeping. We might be crying. We might be going through so many things in the dark, in secret, behind doors. But the point is that the Lord would hear our cry. When you look at Exodus chapter 1, verse 14, something interesting happened there. At this point in time, the Israelites were going through so many things. And listen to how the word of God puts it. He says that, and they made their lives better with hard bondage. Friends, the Israelites went through so many things. They went through hard bondage in mortar, in brick, and in all manner of service in the field. And their service in, in, in which they made to serve was rigor. So if they were to cry, they were crying unto the Lord, you, you should understand. They were going through so many things. Friends, we might also be going through so many things here on earth. But just as our God heard the cry of the Israelites, I believe he will hear our cry. Hallelujah. Friends of God, at a point in time, the Israelites were really hopeless. They, they felt that nothing good could really come. They, they felt that indeed, can there be any hope? But the point is that our God was still making ways or was trying to put things in place to save them. Whilst they were crying unto the Lord, God intervened by sending Moses to rescue them. Friends, sometimes we seem to like when life seems to be very okay and we seem to be living comfortable lives, we hardly cry unto God. <laughs> you know, the Israelites nearly forgot God. God, life was okay. They were eating, they were drinking. Uh, life was okay, even though they were slaves, but they were living life to the fullest. First of God, at the point in time, when oppression set in, they 
cried unto God. Sometimes oppressing, sometimes going through certain difficult moments can be a blessing in disguise. It can be a moment where we can engage the Lord in prayer. Friends, we are not the only people who have cried unto the Lord. When you look throughout the ages, through the Bible, and so many things, you see that at a point in time, so many people had to cry unto God. Daniel cried unto God. When at a point in time, all the wise men in Babylon were going to be destroyed because of the dream of Nebuchadnezzar. He cried unto God. At a point in time, even Jesus himself, according to Matthew chapter 27, verse 46, Jesus even cried on the cross and said, uh, at a point in time, my father, why have you forsaken me? Friends, I don't know what you are going through, but I want to encourage you that no matter what you are going through, just as the Israelites were going through oppression and cried unto the Lord, and the Lord hearken unto their cry, continue to cry unto the Lord. Do not stop. Continue to cry. And one of these days, the Lord shall rescue you. One of these days, your prayer will be answered. One of these days, the Lord shall save you. May the good Lord be with us and help us as we cry unto him in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, your son or daughter seem to be crying because of certain moments, because of certain difficult times. Lord, just as you hearken unto the prayer of the Israelite, hearken unto the prayer of your son or daughter in the name of our Lord and Master Jesus. Amen. By the grace of God, I am your servant, David Asiel Safo. God be with you. We shall meet once more. Shalom.